Nitzavim Vayelech, Ideas in the Realm of Gematria, from the Parsha, and for the Gula. This is Article 32 in this series. And the previous video, when it was originally recorded, the sound didn't come out. So this is the sound, and the visual, and the time is important the first time. But the second time we'll have the content should one want to hear it audio uh, want should someone want to hear it um, I'll try to keep it as close to the original in terms of the content as possible um, there are beautiful and very famous verses in this week's Parsha the Pasuk says, Ki ha mitzvah hazo sashir anuchi mitzvah ha hayom, lo nifles hi mimcha, velo rechoka hi. For this commandment which I command you this day is not concealed from you, nor is it far away. Deuteronomy 30.11 Lo ba shemayim hi lemor, mi ya'ale lanu ha shemayma, vi yikache alanu, vi yishmeinu osa benasena. It is not in heaven that you should say, who will go up to heaven for us and fetch it for us to tell it to us so that we can fulfill it. Deuteronomy thirty twelve. Me Lemor Mi Yaavar Lanu El Aver Hayam Vikahelanu Vaishmaenu Osa Finasena. Nor is it beyond the sea that you should say who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and fetch it for us to tell it to us so that we can fulfill it. Deuteronomy 30, 13. Rather, this thing is very close to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart that, so that you can fulfill it. Deuteronomy 30, 13. The words of it is not in heaven are lo bashemaim hi. And they are the famous words of Rabbi Yehoshua in the story of the oven of Achnai. Tanrushal uh, Achnai, see Bav Metzia 59a and b. About a debate concerning a type of oven and whether or not it must be destroyed if it contracted ritual impurity. Even though there were miraculous signs and even a voice from heaven saying that Rabbi Eliezer's ruling was correct, the conclusion was that it is not in heaven. Since the Torah had been given at Mount Sinai, it is now given for the inhabitants of earth to interpret it and adjudicate it. One may see the main point of the story is that to do and fulfill the Torah is incumbent on those living on earth in a responsible and practical way. It is not the job of heaven to do it for us. What the Torah is telling us is that it is within each and every one of us to do it in the heart, in our heart. This can be seen in the Rashi Tevos, the acronym of the very phrase itself, Lo Bashamayim He. The first letters of this phrase, Lo Bashamayim He, the letters are Lamed, Bez, and He, rearranged, spell Halev, which means the heart, our heart. It is within our own hearts to do and to fulfill it, and heaven will not do it for us. In Gematria, the phrase Lo Bashamayim He has a numerical value of 435. In the Kaddish, in Nesach the words are said, Vayatzmach Porkane Vikarev Mishiche, meaning, who makes salvation sprout forth and makes close the coming of Messiah. The Aramaic word for salvation in this phrase is Porkane. And it has a numerical value of exactly 435. This might suggest to us that heaven can help and certainly does its fair share, but we need to be doing our utmost to help bring and usher in the final and complete redemption and the coming of Mashiach. May it be in our day. Have a great Shabbos.